Well, I guess the holidays are officially upon us, but if you are from Gateway Church, the season's not looking so bright. Well, hello, my silky friends. I wish I could quit talking about this. I'm telling you what. Why can't we just talk about some good news, some good things that are happening in the church? Oh, but no. It is one thing after another with Gateway Robert Morris. Take a look at this stuff, y'all. And you might want to take like an Alka-Seltzer or something because you're going to be a little sick. Now, this again comes from the Roy's Report. I appreciate them so much. Um, Gateway Elder says that tithes are down 35 to 40 percent and staff reductions are imminent. You think? Gee, I wonder what could have caused that. Okay, I'm really not trying to be sarcastic here, but it has been a bad year for Gateway and a lot of other churches because God is cleaning house. Yay! Okay, so this church announced to staff this week that donations have dropped 35 to 40 percent, and of course they're going to have to reduce the staff. Once again is five months after the announcement of the resignation of Pastor Robert Morris due to an allegation of child essay. If you haven't heard this, go back and watch my original videos on him and Cindy Clemshire. But look, y'all, it didn't stop there. And this is the problem. Everybody came at me and said, hey, let's just forgive him. Yeah, but then things kept coming out and everybody started covering. Yeah. And so this is where we are. Now, before you feel too bad about these members during the holiday season, I understand this is a terrible time to lose a job. Uh, Gateway employees who are fired will be given one month of severance pay for every year served on the church staff up to four months. Well, thank goodness they're putting a limit on four months, but that will take them well into the beginning of the year, and hopefully they'll be able to find something if they are of good character. Now, here's something that I didn't report separately, but they did an investigation and they found that the Gateway Elders were complicit in this. Yeah, we said it in the beginning, nobody was listening. So we have a YouTube video here of uh, Fambro. He is one of the Gateway Elders. He says he's one of the three remaining Elders. On November 3rd, Gateway Elder Tra Wilbanks announced that the church had removed four elders as part of an investigation in allegations against Morris, which was conducted by the law firm Haynes & Boone. The church found these elders had full or partial knowledge of the allegations against Morris, but failed to act or investigate. Three of the four men removed from the elder board had also been employed as pastors. In my opinion, this is nothing more than the good old boys club, you know, covering up for each other in crimes. Oh, you don't want to lose your job, so mm, just look the other way. Pretend you don't know what happened with Robert Morris. I don't know. I don't know. Now that's a bunch of horse pucky. Oh, but wait, there's more. This lawsuit also claims that the church misspent tithe money. Well, there's a new one. We've never heard that before. The elders' announcement comes as several current and former church members are suing the church for alleged financial fraud. As previously reported, Morris and other church leaders told members that Gateway gave 15% of its revenues to global missions, but gave no more than 3% some years, the lawsuit claims. Now, if you remember, where I always say to look are in what I call slush funds. Tithing, mmm... That usually has some kind of accountability because that is your main source of income, usually, for a church. However, when you're looking for hidden money, look in the missions. That is one thing I've said it over and over. Like, nobody really knows where that money goes. Missions people. Do you even know? Because I did a story a few months ago about the guy that was left his big job to go give away money, all this tithing and missions money to build other ministries. He was so excited. The problem is, yeah, he only had 2% to work with, and most of that was limited to $10,000 per occurrence, okay? 
Now, I don't know about you, but $10,000 doesn't go too far these days, especially if you're talking about things like a ministry needing a new roof or some kind of disaster. The point is, there was millions and millions of dollars in this fund. Yes, the Benevolence Fund is where this man was supposed to do work for other people, like other ministries who were in dire need. So always look, when you are, I'm just telling y'all, if you are in a church and you are wondering where your money is going, ask questions about where is the Benevolence Fund? How much is in it? Who's getting it? Let's look at the missions. Missions are a great way to hide things, again, because you really don't know. You don't see proof. Pastor could say something about, oh, well, we are supporting a church over in Africa. And maybe you are. Maybe that's great. But is the whole mission going there? And how much is that? What does it look like? Break it down for me. Tell me how much we're putting in there a month and how much we are actually giving to missions. Because at the end of the month, you should be close to zero. All right. If that's where that money is supposed to go and I am in the church giving offerings to that mission, I want to know that every red penny that I give is going in there. So, you know, here we go. It's an ongoing saga. Of course, this isn't the only thing. There have been horrific things. Have you been watching coming out in the news about different churches all over the world, especially here in the United States? And all I can say is God is cleaning house and I am glad for it. I hope you are too. Anyway, I feel quite sure that at some point we are going to be talking about more church scandals. But don't let this stop you from giving. No, no. Just ask for accountability. Because I assure you, if your church is not into accountability, you will probably be made to feel very uncomfortable or maybe asked to leave. Maybe given the cold shoulder, the left foot of fellowship. But that's okay. You have to be accountable to God for where the money is, just like them. All right. I appreciate you all so much. Have a beautiful week, and I will see you later. Whatever you do, stay silky. Bye-bye.